Well, good morning, Sunday School Kids. Pastor Al here. Nice that you could join me this morning for our story out of the Bible. Hey, before I start into that, let me tell you some uh, fun news. It looks like we have someone who's going to start working with our Sunday School, and we're going to start an in-person Sunday morning Sunday School class again that'll take place after the singing during the 9 o'clock service, just like we did before all this mess started. Uh, I don't have all the details yet, and I'm not sure what Sunday it's going to start, but we'll let you know just as soon as we know. I'll probably still do these little videos, at least for a little while, because I know some of you and your, some of your families may not be quite ready to come back to church yet. So we don't want to forget about you, but we want to get ready so that when all of this is over and we can all come back together and do it safely, uh, it's going to be a really, really great time. But we're getting ready to do that. Today, for our Bible story, remember last Sunday, we had our last story from the Old Testament, the first part of the Bible. Well, now we're going to jump into the New Testament. Stories about Jesus from the Gospels, which is just a fancy name for the stories about good news. And if you can remember back a ways, and I have a hard time remembering too, back around Christmas, I showed you some of the stories that they had from Jesus' birth. So we're going to skip those, and we're going to go right into the other parts of it. And today we hear a story about, well, you know, Jesus kind of had a famous cousin too, um, who was born a little bit before him. His name was John. We call him John the Baptist. And, well, you'll watch this little video, and it'll tell you the Bible story about him, and you'll understand why. He played a really important role in the beginning of Jesus' ministry. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learn from it. Um, I hope that pretty soon we'll all be back together again in person, and that'll be super cool. But until then, learn from this, and thanks for joining me this morning. Heaven Breaks Through about the same time Jesus was born, another baby was born. His name was John, and God had a special job for him. John was going to get everyone ready for Jesus. The day John was born, his dad knew God's promise to Abraham was coming true. God was sending the rescuer, and he was so happy he sang a song. Because God loves us with a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love, heaven is breaking through. He is sending us a light from heaven to shine on us like the sun, to shine on those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. So John grew up and, well, to tell you the truth, he was a bit unusual. He lived in the desert. He wore itchy, scratchy outfits made of camel hair. He had a, a big, big, bushy beard and a long, long, scraggly hair. And, and, and here's the oddest thing of all. He ate only locusts. That's short for big, creepy, crunchy grasshoppers, which he dipped in honey Oof. to disguise the taste, probably. But God sent John to tell his people something important. Stop running away from God and run to him instead, John said. You need to be rescued. I have good news. The rescuer is coming. Make your hearts ready for him. Yes, get ready, because your king is coming back. For you. Great crowds listened to John. They were sorry they had sinned and they wanted to stop running away from God. They wanted to be rescued. So John baptized them, which means he plunged them in and out of the water. It showed that they wanted to follow God and begin a new life. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River as usual, when he looked up and saw a man walking down to the water's edge. God spoke quietly to John. This is the one. John's heart leapt. This was the moment he'd been waiting for all his life. Look, John said as Jesus came down into the water. But his voice came out as a whisper. He couldn't make it any louder. It was all he could do to even speak. The, the, the lamb... 
God's best lamb who takes away the sins of the whole world. Will you baptize me too? Jesus asked. Well, who am I, John asked, to baptize you? It's what God wants me to do, Jesus said. So John baptized Jesus. Suddenly, it was as if someone had drawn back curtains in a dark room, as if heaven itself had opened, because a beautiful light broke through the clouds and shone down onto Jesus, bathing him in gold. Beads of water glittered and sparkled like tiny diamonds in his hair. A white dove flew down and gently rested on Jesus. And a voice came down from heaven. It was clear and strong and loud so everyone could hear. This is my own son, and I love him. I am very pleased with him, God said. Listen to him. Heaven had broken through. The great rescue had begun. <laughs>